I'm Bruce Matson, and today we're going to cover five running back trade targets for Dynasty Fantasy Football. Let's go ahead and let's get into it. Our first running back is a young player who has been productive. The fantasy football community has been up in arms with him, but he has been dealing with an injury that will impact his 2023 season, but he could finish the year with some productivity. I'm talking about Javante Williams from the Denver Broncos. Right now, he's being drafted as the 43rd player off the board and as the RB16. In the four games that he was playing, he racked up 204 yards while also having 22 targets. He averaged five and a half targets per game. He's heavily used in the passing game. He can get you a lot of yards after contact. He's a big banger back who is good on the short yards and goal line situations. So he gets a lot of opportunity. And right now we are catching him at a discount. It's rare right now where you can catch a young running back who can be productive at such a low cost. It's still kind of high, but it's a discount compared to what it could be. Looking at the DynastyLeagueFootball.com trade analyzer, there are some options we can look at here. Per the analyzer, he's being traded for a late to mid first in rookie draft, somewhere around the 108 to 110 range, and that's both for one QB and two QB. Also, some players that you can offer to get him. Maybe DJ Moore if you want to sell a veteran. Maybe Kirk Cousins if you want to deal quarterback in two QB. Or maybe even Michael Pittman if you want to pay up to get him. If you need to pay a little extra, maybe a player like that. But just take players in that range and just try to make the deal happen. Our next running back is a young veteran who has shown some promise. He's very athletic. He's in a good situation, but also has been dealing with his own injury issues as well. We're looking at J.K. Dobbins from the Baltimore Ravens. He's being drafted as the 46th player off the board right now, RB17. He too was dealing with an ACL injury, then had another procedure to clean up his knee midseason. Really disrupted his 2022 year. However, he finished the year strong as well with one RB1 week and another RB2 week and looked explosive, looked like he was getting things back together. And now he'll have another offseason to regroup and get further away from that knee injury that he had a while back. That being said, we have this young running back who's in a good situation that can be explosive, can be productive, and can be buoyed by where he's at there in Baltimore that we need to be interested in because he's being drafted at a discount. Looking at the DLF trade analyzer, he's being valued as a mid to late first in rookie drafts, still the same with 1QB and 2QB. And then players you can offer for him, maybe like Terry McLaurin, maybe a Daniel Jones and 2QB, maybe George Kittle, something like that in that range is something you want to look at. Those are just suggestions just from the training analyzer, work in the numbers that you can look at. But J.K. Dobbins right now, considering his talent, considering his situation, is a player that you can catch at a discount in the 2023 offseason. If you're looking for a rookie from last year that is being heavily discounted, that could go boom next year or see a rise in value or whatever you want from the player. Look at Rashad White from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He's being drafted as the 75th player overall off the board in the RB25. Pretty much being valued at almost an RB3 in startup drafts. Will be valued like that if he infused the rookie draft. So all you gotta do is throw in B. John Robinson. He's RB26. So think about it in those terms. He was drafted in the third round of last year's draft. Is a prominent pass catching running back. Can be productive in the passing game. Gave you two RB1 weeks last year. Four RB2 weeks, caught 50 balls, rushed 466 yards, and had just 39% of the snaps on the whole season. So imagine if he had a larger share of the snaps, he would have been more productive. Leonard Fournette is not getting any younger. He's 28 years old, showing less signs of life as he gets further in his career. So that's something to take note of. Rashad White's on that rookie contract going into year two. So you're going to get some longevity out of him going forward and plus him catching the ball in the backfield just elevates his floor. 
Go into the DLF trade analyzer. It's very interesting. He's being traded for a late first in one QB and two QB leagues, according to the analyzer. And then some players that you can offer for him, possibly Calvin Ridley, possibly Mike Williams, or another wide receiver that a lot of people like, Rashad Bateman. But those are some options that you could use to offer for him if you're interested in trading for Rashad White. Again, he's a second year running back prospect, catches the ball in the backfield, has size, can really see an increase in his value in the next few months if news rolls his way or if he starts even getting more productive due to more volume. So that's something you want to be on the lookout for because he is being drafted at a discount and traded for at a discount in Dynasty Fantasy Football. If you want another cheap running back prospect to trade for who has some upside, go over to the Rams and look at Cam Akers. Last season did not look good for him, but he finished strong. That's why he's being drafted as the 68th player off the board as the RB20 one 2022 is very sketchy but he finished the season with two rb2 weeks and three rb2 weeks when he was running hot averaging 81.6 rushing yards per game during that span he also owned 84.2 percent of the team's red zone carries during that time the rams only have two draft picks in the top 150 this year so the odds of them drafting another back that can steal his job is highly unlikely they're more than likely going to have to do it through free agency this is a deep draft class and talent at the running back position but the odds dwindle as you get further in the draft so cam Akers might be good to go in 2023 making him a safer asset for the short term plus he's getting farther removed from that achilles injury the dlf trade analyzer has him valued as a late first round rookie pick in both one qb and two qb leagues some players that you can trade for or make an offer with is portland sutton juju smith schuster or maybe if you want to unload the aging veteran keenan allen Cam Akers in a spot where he can hold his value throughout the offseason and possibly be productive in 2023. But if you want to speculate on a running back who's dirt cheap, who's young, who's in a situation that could allow him to go boom, whether it's a value sense or a productive sense, go over to the Raiders. Let's look at Zamir White because we do not know what Josh Jacobs is going to be doing this offseason. Is he going to be staying with the team? Is he going to be signing somewhere else? But right now, Zamir White's being drafted as 157th player off the board overall as the RB48, making him dirt cheap. Remember, this was a running back who runs a 4-4 at 215 pounds, good size, adjusted athleticism. He didn't receive more than three carries in any games last season, so his rookie season was pretty much a lost year. But the upside could hit if he start getting opportunities, but the sunk cost is almost non-existent if you invest in him because he's going late in startup drafts, and you can trade for him on the cheap. Looking at the DLF trade analyzer, he's being dealt for a late third-round rookie picks in drafts right now. 1QB, 2QB, 3QB, you name it. He's going for a cheap value. And for a veteran that you want to trade, just any aging veteran that, that's cheap, that does not hold much value, like a Jeff Wilson, maybe even an Adam Thielen, or Jameis Winston, if you're looking for a 2QB trade or something like that. Any aging veteran that you're willing to get rid of, see if you can make the offer for. Maybe you can get the deal done. Maybe not. But just be creative with it. He's in a situation where he could see some opportunity. He does have some prowess in his athleticism that could allow him to ignite during the season, allow him to be productive. Volume for running backs is always good for productivity, and we're seeing a storyline here that could open up for him to allow him to be productive in 2023. And again, this is just a speculation trade, a gamble that you're trying to make to see if you can hit on, and he's dirt cheap. To recap, here are the five running backs that we talked about today. Javante Williams is a young running back prospect who you can catch at an injury discount. J.K. Dobbins ran hot at the end of the season, and you can catch him at a discount as well. Then also Rashad White's our second-year player who is being undervalued. Cam Akers is a cheap running back 
who looks like he's going to have the starting role for 2023. And then Zamir White is our speculation running back that we are investing in because the opportunity looks like it could be there if Josh Jacobs goes a separate ways. But those are five running back trade targets that we're looking at in Dynasty Fantasy Football. But on the way out, make sure you go to DynastyLeagueFootball.com and 4for4.com for more Dynasty and Redraft content. And I know you need more wide receivers on your Dynasty team. I have some more wide receiver trade targets right here on this next video. Just click that and you'll get some more suggestions to trade for. I want to thank you for watching. And I'll catch you next time.